I know a lot of what he does is theater, right? A lot of what he does is very like satire. He he plays the role of this boastful misogynist who smokes cigars and drives Lamborghinis, and that's his thing. And because of that, he's amassed an amazing amount of money, and he's done it by doing this character, this online persona, but then also says very wise things. He says ridiculous shit, mm -hmm. but also says really interesting things. He's a very smart guy. If you li listen to him being interviewed by Patrick Bet David, Patrick Bet David interviewed him after he got canceled off of all social media, and Patrick is fantastic. He's really good at letting people talk and talking to everybody, and, re and, and Patrick is so wealthy and so successful outside of the world of podcasting that he don't only does it because he's interested mm -hmm. in it. And so he's the perfect guy to handle that because he does not afraid of talk to talk to anybody. He'll talk to anybody. And so he had him on for a long form conversation. They talk for hours and you get to see this is a very intelligent and calculated guy. You might not agree with his message. You might not agree with all the misogynist stuff. You might not agree with, and I don't agree with it. You might not agree with uh, all the, the crazy antics, but you cannot deny that that's been incredibly successful because it resonates with a lot of young men who don't feel represented in the media. And they see this guy and it looks like fun. Do they agree with what he's saying? That doesn't mean they agree with it, they think it's fun. It's like pro wrestling. He's like a bad guy in pro wrestling. He's a heel. He's smoking cigars yep. with his Lamborghinis and he's also a wild dude that lives in the world of kickboxing. And that, that is a wild group of people. I mean, you, you pay attention to like top flight kickboxers like the Badr Haris and the, I mean, there's some Melvin Manhoof, there's some wild fucking people in that world. That is a crazy world where there's not a lot of money and you're facing fucking straight up killers. And you know, I mean, there, there's all sorts of different personalities in that world, but it's a different kind of human. They're, they're just wild, masculine, very aggressive people. You know, and that's that's part of his shtick. Like when he talked to Piers Morgan, that was a very interesting conversation because Piers confronted him on all these things and he did a great job of explaining what he does and why he does it. And, and you know, it's like the guy went viral in a way that no one has. And so quickly. Yeah. In a while, we were like my 12 year old and my 14 year old were asking me about it. Yeah, no, he, he was it. Yeah, all over TikTok and all over everything.